Hi, hello and welcome. I am definitely not Lad, and you're watching me level this character to 70 so that I can pug my way to 2.8k rating. We might stop at just getting every portal, but it's likely going to be 2.8k rating because I realized just now, after recording more than 20 episodes of this, <laughs> this series, that it's actually titled New uh, Fresh Account or New Account to 2.8k Rio. So we're going to 2.8k rating. I don't know why I kept putting that disclaimer at the start of every video. Anyway, you're watching me level to 70 so that I can pug my way up to 2.8k rating. And uh, right now we're leveling through time walking dungeons. We initially wanted to do, or I initially wanted to do, just the normal dragon flight uh, dungeons. But I decided that time walking is probably faster. And it's also going to leave us with a bunch of these time warped badges, which we can then use to uh, buy ourselves some gear. We have a talent point. Now, I am actually not certain what I should spend this on, considering... Oh, I should probably just get Fury of Nature, right? I'm thinking Fury of Nature would be real nice. Because what that will do, it will just give me... Um, thingy thing with the stuffy stuff it'll give me access to circle of life and death which will make our dots do a heck of a lot more damage and our hots heal faster and it'll give me another 10 percent arcane damage which right now thrash is still out dpsing moonfire that's interesting hmm i didn't think it would be like that actually maybe i'm just not using moonfire enough let me check actually is that just that's damage done overall huh interesting I actually thought Moonfire would do more hmm maybe I should go down this side and uh, just uh, spec into full thrash build instead of going uh, moon uh, or moon bear or arcane bear is actually what they call it hmm so Thorns of Iron plus Thrash with Ursoc's Fury. That sounds pretty dang good to me. I would I don't want to go into Raze because I wanna I wanna do a Thorns of Iron build. Now we've got me thinking. There's probably someone who's very experienced with bear druids and is watching me even th think about this stuff and they're like screaming that I'm doing the wrong thing, but I think what I'm gonna do is switch over to this stuff. Yeah, but then I have to go into this Berserk. I, I guess that's not bad because it's it's not just the Rage cost of Maul. It's 15% haste, and that cannot be bad. Okay, Thrash also generates, and Flashing Claws, and Incarnation, clearly, because it's just so busted. And then Untamed Savagery. Huh. I'm very tempted to try and put one more point into... I think I'll take Flashing Claws away and go into Ursoc's Fury, which gives me an Absorb Shield for half the damage I do from Thrash and Maul. But I feel like I'm... Hmm. I feel like if you go Thorns, you go Arcane. You don't go down this side, because this Ursoc's Fury really benefits a lot more if you use uh, Rays. Because it, it says Maul, but if you take Rays, it'll say Rays. Let me, let me show you. No, it's just Maul, huh? Am I crazy? Anyway, I, I'm, I don't want to go into Rays either way because I do want to do Thorns of Iron because it's just amazing for survivability. I guess we're doing a bit of brainstorming at the start of this episode. Hmm. I should also grab Soul of the Forest for the extra Rage I get from that. Should I just go a raise build? Is that going to be better? I don't want to go pulverize. It's just another button that I'm not going to be using enough because I'm bad. Hmm. Lots to think of here. We're going to try this out. See how this feels. We're not going to focus so much on moon firing because the moon fire, like this is me as pretty much full bear, uh, full arcane bear, still just getting way more value out of thrash than I am out of moon fire with a bunch of talents for Moonfire damage. So I think this will be better for damage, while still allowing me to spam Thorns of Iron because I'm not going into Raze and I don't want to use Maul. 
so yeah, I think I think this might be the way to go. There's probably again, there's probably someone who knows how to actually talent for bear and is watching this and they're just cringing because this is not how you build bear. But I feel like this is pretty good, at least for leveling. I'll actually look up a build once I'm actually maxed out and level 70. But anyway, sorry for the holdup. I just wanted to do some talent point spending because I've just been ignoring my talent tree for the most part and clicking as quickly as I can just to keep running dungeons. But now let's queue up for a dungeon and I'm just going to make sure, yeah, time walking. Let's queue up for a dungeon and uh, I'll talk again once we have a dungeon pop. Now popping back in real quick before the queue popped, I just realized that now we don't have Rage of the Sleeper, so I'm just going to take a point away from this and put it into Rage of the Sleeper and apply those changes because I noticed that I had a hole in my hub weak aura. There was no Rage of the Sleeper, so I'm just going to move that around. I actually really like Rage of the Sleeper. It's a one minute defensive cooldown that does a lot for me, so I'm going to just switch that around and back to being silent until the Q pops again. Go. We have a dungeon pop. Let's get into. Oh no, it's my least favorite dungeon out of all of these. But maybe I'll grow to love it. I think the thing I dislike the most is. Uh... Oh, this one's already in progress. It seems. Is it? No, no, it isn't. Is it? Am I crazy? Is it in progress or not? Where's I don't see the warlock. Well, I guess I thought it was in progress because the warrior joined in not at max hit points. The warrior asks, leveling and doing time walking strong for leveling alts? Heck yeah. Better than normal dungeons. And really easy too. But yeah, it's, a, it's really good for leveling, in my opinion. Maybe questing would be faster, I don't know. But it feels like uh, time walking is pretty dang good. I don't know why I'm so, uh, like, I shut up here for a second because my, my brain was like, okay, your talents have changed, so you must do something differently. No, I still press the same buttons, I just don't moonfire as much. <laughs> that is all. There we go. Uh, is it worth actually disabling these? Maybe? There we go. I'm going to avoid doing big pulls here because it feels unnecessary. He's going for the beacon. No beacon for you. Oh, this poor guy. Let's rest him real quick. Hmm. Maybe I'm just thinking I mean, am I just not getting much value out of the thrash shield, absorb shield that I get? Doesn't feel like I'm getting much value out of it. Oh, the warlock's offline. That's why I couldn't see him. Okay, let's root this guy and kick his ass before he decides to do anything. Hmm. Uh, why am I so confused? I switched around a few talents, but none of them were like game changing. Pretty much everything I do is supposed to stay the same. I just don't use moonfire as much or basically at all. Maybe just to grab aggro from distance. Weird. Why is this throwing me off so much? Maybe it's just my brain not really will not being willing to process the information. We're just gonna do a quick vote to kick. Offline. There we go. It's a good reason to kick someone. Oh, this guy just went in he went in, he full sent it. Guess we're waiting for the patrol now, and we can also deactivate this beacon. Oh, the healer left. Oh, well, I guess it's up to me to keep everyone alive. Let's go. 
We'll do after the wildfire, and we'll do uh, our dream of scenarios procs as well, and that should be able to keep people alive. I'm gonna pop everything here. Signal beacon. Ah, so it gets one add per signal beacon, it seems. Okay. Let's queue up for more people. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit by that. Need to heal the warrior. No, the warrior went down. It's just me and you, Demon Hunter. He's about to drink the thing. Because we didn't poison it, we didn't have a rogue. Oh, move out of that. Now this is a challenge. Doing it without a healer. Well, not for me, it was mostly for the for the poor warrior. <laughs> Let's res the warrior. And then continue. I don't know why I'm so... I, I got so flustered at the beginning. Let's give him that heal. I got very flustered because I changed my talents. And my brain was like, now you must do things differently. But it's actually not the case. I just... And I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Anyway, let's just keep mashing our bare buttons and get through this. Give people a speed up. We can go travel form for a second there and then back into cat form. Is this another hunter? What is this? No, it's a demon hunter. Okay, it's a different type of hunter, Vlad. Kick that, hopefully he follows me. Yeah, he is. Am I doing it really, really wrong by going uh, down the left side and going Thorns of Iron? I feel like I'm not doing it wrong. It doesn't seem bad, but maybe it doesn't perform well either. I don't, I can't tell. I can't in, in honest, uh, in all honesty, tell if it's bad or not. Because it's, it's so hard to tell in, in, like, leveling a dungeons because everything dies so quickly no matter what you do, right? Like, whatever you do, you're going to do well. Unless you're doing, just playing completely wrong. This doesn't feel like it's that bad. Let's go across to the other side. There's a rare there, Arcanist Mulrody, but I think that's not where we're fighting right now. Am I going the wrong way? Do I still not understand what to do here? Never mind. There's something we need to kill over there. Fellbound Enforcer. I don't want to get suppressed. I'm going to heal myself. There's the Fellbound Enforcer. Taunt. Charge over. Alright, hopefully people help me kill this. There's a Inquisitor there. The Warrior kicked that. I don't have to kick it. Ice Storm. I see with my little eye a guy getting his ass kicked. So if we kill two of those, I accidentally opened the talents there instead of pressing B, which is my moonfire button. Oh no, we still can't fight those. Walk over. Okay, okay. There's the Fellbound Enforcer. I guess we have to kill f three Fellbound Enforcers before we can fight the boss. I'm glad I didn't Moonfire the boss lady, because that would have been... No bueno. Okay, I'm figuring out the dungeon. I'm figuring it out. Hopefully... Yeah, it seems like it was... We have to kill two. I am stunned. I needed two. Is this person attacking me or not? Okay, maybe I need to figure out what I can and can't stand in so that I don't get stunned 15 times in a boss fight. I feel like this is embarrassing. Oh, there's another Fellbound Enforcer, but I guess we can do it if we just kill two or three. Do I have to kill more? Please, if you know how to do this dungeon, tell me in the comments because I have no clue <laughs> what I'm doing. Spy is not wearing a darker vest tonight. Light west. Not west, but vest. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out. Oh no. <laughs> I always go and I talk to that person. And it's always... I'm always wrong. Okay, so light vest 
and long sleeves, light vest, long sleeves. People have little wigs, which is the DBM alternative. I should probably go for little wigs. With a cape, light vest, with a cape, long sleeves. Oh, this person found the spy. Let's go to the person who found the spy. They're all upstairs. Oh, there they are. I felt useless there for a second. I think that's because I was absolutely useless there for a, for a second. <laughs> okay. I'm in bear form, but you can't tell because I'm in this nightborn disguise. Oh, dang. It's a dreadlord. Surprise. Gasp. Shock. Okay. Picking up. Okay. Let's give everyone a speed up, and by everyone I mean this one person that's next to me. They're already interacting with the door. I guess you don't need to pick it up, you just need to go to the door and interact with it. What did I pick up anyway? Oh look, I can get a transmog piece here. Very nice. And is this an upgrade? It is a big upgrade from 213 to 290. Very nice. Is this an upgrade? 250? Nope. This was just a transmog piece. Okay. Anyway, waiting on this, I am in bear form. I can't tell because of the <laughs> disguise. All right, we're gonna use every single button we have. I'm effectively immortal while also being, doing extra damage. Oh, let's help the healer out with a heal. Ironically, I think the healer is just straight up AFK. Good thing it's time walking, so it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> okay. Well, again, I feel like I don't really get this dungeon quite yet. I'm not going to requeue with people because it's just not my thing in this series. I think I did like early, early, early on one of the first few episodes, but not other than that. I still don't know how I feel about these talents. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe I'll get used to it. Again, I feel like there's someone in the uh, who's watching the video who knows how to actually play Guardian Druid, and they're looking at me pick these talents and go like, what the hell are you doing? That's not how you do it. But anyway, they seem to be working fine. Let me see. Overall damage. Thrash is way up there. Thorns of Iron is second. That, that feels like a decent distribution of damage. Feels okay. Right. I feel like that's okay. Switch back to current. On the boss fight, it was Thorns of Iron that did the most, which kind of makes sense, because I was, um, I had Guardian of Ursoc up, and I had, um, I was just mashing it. I was mashing my generators and using it on cooldown, so I think I got to a high number of stacks, which then increases the armor, which increases the damage. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to shut up until my queue pops. There we go. Let's see what it is now. It is this dungeon. Okay, we can do the massive pulls here. Especially with a Holy Paladin healer. I'm gonna give I'm gonna be greedy with the speed up and I'm just gonna give it to myself. I'm gonna pop Bark Skin and uh, Rage of the Sleeper. Kick one of these guys to keep them coming with me. I don't have Berserk available quite yet, but that's okay think. Getting hit by a lot of enemies means I get a lot of rage, which means I get a lot of uh, iron fur, which means I am then tankier and can keep pulling. I'm going to preemptively pull these guys just to get them all grouped up. I'm disoriented. Hopefully no one dies from them switching aggro. There we go. I'm going to use incarnation. I'm going to try and line of sight those guys up there that got pulled. I don't even know how they got pulled. That's a lot of stacks of iron fur. Up to nine stacks. Doing crazy damage. Very nice. How much did iron fur do there? Quite a bit, it seems. We're going to pull these and the two bears. We're going to make the bears come over to us because these. Oh no, they're not casters. They just shape shifted into spiders. Dude, I wish I could shapeshift into a spider that'd be cool as hell imagine a, sh a spider form for druids 
Dude, that would be cool. I wish I was also a, a Zandalari troll, because then I could be an Ankylosaur. Or an Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus are cool as heck. They smack you with that tail. Let me in, meme.np4. There we go. Now we zoog zoog again. I don't have any cooldowns available. I do have Berserk, but I don't want to use it without using it Berserking. Or, I have Berserking, but I don't want to use it without Berserk. I think I should make a macro that um, makes uh, makes me use Berserking with Berserk. Because I, I feel like I will never want to use them aside from each other. Oh, new boots. Maybe those are an upgrade? No, they're the same. And I don't get the stats I want. I lose haste. I don't want to lose haste. Okay, let's give it a movement speed buff here. We keep going. Use situations where we use Moonfire. We use it to pull things that are far away. And then I jump over here. That'll make things teleport to me because they think I'm trying to evade. It's a nice little bug interaction we got going on. We're going to pop all our defensive cooldowns and our aggro cooldowns and we're going to mash up zillion iron furs. Oh, that feels good. I like that. I can get used to that. I like not having to use Moonfire. It actually feels pretty nice. I think I like this build. We'll see how it works, but I think I, think I like it. Okay, we got all the Nightmare Dwellers. Start thrashing. Oh, maybe I shouldn't drag them, considering the fact that they start casting stuff. Are there any more? I don't think I see any more. There's the Dryad in the back. Do we have range? No, we have an Enhancement Shaman. Oh, we do have Sulfuria, who is a Destro Warlock. Hopefully they finish off that ad in the back. I'm going to focus on beating up this tree. I'm going to scratch at his toes and he's going to fall over eventually, I promise you. Because that makes sense. It's always interesting to think about how we actually deal with giant enemies in World of Warcraft. Like, I don't quite understand what we're doing to this. Let's say if it was a group full of melee characters, what are we doing to this tree that's going to kill it? Because we're just mashing at his toes. Are we going to give it a pedicure of doom? I don't really don't really understand uh, and now we go this way because then we can skip a boss I think I'm in combat there we go now we have full movement speed go bear form use that charge get that thrash dot on everything that's very good okay once I see more people drop down I see two we can go I was waiting for more people to drop down so that I could use my, um, which my calls it's my stampeding roar, so that I can get more people moving quickly. I'm not even going to bother using Moonfire here because it just doesn't do any damage right now because I have no extra damage on it. I've seen the damage distributions from before when I used to play before the um, before 10.1.5, where Guardian Druid became the single best tank in the game. Which, to be fair, it's not so much, from what I've heard from commentary from people who are much better at the game than I am, which is a lot of people, but it was like one of the top tier players who plays at the very competitive top end of the game. Uh, their opinion of Guardian Druids is basically, it's not so much that they're that much better than other tanks and outperforming them, it's that they're a lot easier to play so that you can actually focus on doing stuff like calling interrupts and stuff like that. Which is a very, very fair thing. That's like a big advantage to have as as a high level player is to be able to just use all your let's call it brain power on just you know uh, calls and stuff like that. Oh, we even oh, we're gonna do big damn now because we've got bloodlust. Maybe if this person wouldn't stand on top of me with a big circle on him. Okay. Two point three K DPS single target. Curious how much of that was Oh, that was a lot of Thorns of Iron damage there. I like that. That was nice. 
I seem to have gotten new gloves. Let's see. Are these an upgrade? Yes, they are. A 19 item level upgrade. Very cool. Gonna leave instance group. Have I done three dungeons now, or was it just two? I did Court of Stars before this, and then I did this, and what was before? Was there something before that? I am lost in the sauce. I do not know. Let me see. Let me take a look. See, oh no, I did a, I did a reset before this, so I don't know. What I do see is that I am at 29 minutes recording, so I'm not sure if I did another dungeon or not. Did I just do? It? Let me scroll up. Maybe I can see in chat. Oh no, this is not. This is way from. This is from. Uh, this is not the beginning when I logged in. This is from inside the. Uh, Court of Stars. I can't remember. I'm getting lost in the sauce here, but we are level 66. I think I'm going to stop here because I had a big uh, preamble at the start of the fight or at the start of the video about these talents here. I'm going to grab Heart of the Wild because doing 30% increased physical damage is absolutely insane. So we're going to grab that. Okay, so after the end of the last dungeon that I just did, uh, I decided to take a look at my talents and see if I can change some things up even more. And the conclusion I came to is the that I have no clue what I'm doing and that people are running a build that I really don't like. I really don't... The build that they're running is basically... There's, uh, it's not a full Thorns of Iron build. It's a, we have Thorns of Iron, but we're going to spam Rays as well. And I have a very hard time figuring out um, a balance between spamming rays and, and using uh, iron fur for the defensive capability of iron fur. I know for a fact that I need to keep iron fur up, but I'd rather, if since I need to use iron fur, I'd rather play in a way where I just spam the bejesus out of iron fur and I don't have rays or maul as something I spend rage on. And I feel like that will actually be a good combination of all these talents. Because I noticed that I, my Thrash was doing, the reason I'm even discussing changing my talents from an Arcane Bear is that I noticed that my uh, my Moonfire was not doing a decent amount of damage, even though I was already specced into quite a bit of our extra Arcane damage in these talents. So I figured maybe just doubling down on Thrash damage was the call, and I feel like it is. I feel like Thorns of Iron with Thrash extra damage might be a good build. I'm going to give it a shot. There might be some further changes I make here. But I feel like it's a viable build and like I can get good value out of it. Where I can get the best of doing Thorns of Iron while still being able to get maximum value out of my Thrash. I'm basing this probably off of the wrong observations. I'm basing this off of just leveling dungeons where I don't have much time for Moonfire to do damage. That might be part of the reason why Thrash is doing so much damage. Uh, but we'll see when we get to like higher, uh, not very high, but like uh, lower mid tier keys like nines or so. That's when we have enough dam enough time for mobs to survive long enough to see if uh, Moonfire damage might actually be worth uh, using but for now i think i'll stick to this build because the things are dying so quickly and again this is probably going to be a long talk about talents at the end of the video instead of just a bunch of dungeons but hopefully this was interesting and, and provided some insight of course i'd love to hear from you guys what you think about these talents right now they look kind of janky but i feel like this is just the best of both worlds right i'm getting a lot of thrash damage and utility out of thrash while still being able to just use all of my rage on on iron fur because i'm running a thorns of iron build the build does feel a bit heavy on points in the middle because like i can remove this point and still keep all of these points here which usually means i have too many points here right it means i have too many points here so if i remove this if i remove this so i have one too many points in the middle here and that's not a good thing, obviously. I'm just going to move these around. I don't want two survival instincts. I've realized that I don't use Dream Scenario, Dream of Scenarius enough. I'm going to move those around. I'm going to grab Soul of the Forest. And I think 
the reason I'm grabbing Soul of the Forest is because the five more rage for a Mangle might actually be really good overall. But yeah, I feel like this this is good. And once I'm max level, I'll have uh, two more points in Flash and Claws as well, and maybe another point somewhere else in the tree. But we'll see we'll see what exactly we end up with. Also, there's something I need to do on this side, which is get rid of this magical damage. I'll just take these two points, I'll put them in this, and taking less damage, and I'll remove them from this and put them back here. The reason I remove them from here first is because if I remove something from here, it's going to remove these, all these talent points, and I don't feel like dealing with that. Anyway, that's a long talk about talents, with probably the wrong conclusion being drawn, but I just wanted to explain my thought process. Apply changes, and I think that will be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.